Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Rev. This is Dex, our cyberpunk playthrough. And we're kinda we're kinda checking things out and seeing what's what here. Haven't done anything since we played last. What what is this? Pick up missing persons poster. Okay. What's up, dude? I just wanna keep going to my right here. And I can't. Okay. The world is falling. <laughs> Stop the fool with no. my secret, my magnus opus. Technology is going to take on a new meaning, change forever. Unfurl, fight the power. You, you might understand. Appearances are shadows, illusions. I used to wear a tie, okay? <laughs> For Samuel. That's right. Information technology officer. Ooh. That's what I was. Yesterday. And then things started to happen. They started pulling the knot. Pulling it till I choked. Till I couldn't do my job no more. <sighs> I was 52. They said I was too old school to work in IT. Pulling the knot. An old guy doesn't get to undo no knots. Yes, we do. Not to carry your curses. No one was going to want me when they saw that curse was on my back. I had to cut the freaking tie before it choked me to freaking death. Jeez, that dog. Right in my ear. Now, now is today. The day of demons on all their backs. Hmm. In the mind, talking, telling you what you're not. Only here on the street they're quiet. Here I can work. Here I'll make tomorrow. <laughs> but you can help. Yeah, I could use your help. Alright, what do you need, brother? <laughs> Antidepressants to shut up the talking ones. Anxiolytics, <laughs> venom, whatever, anything to shut them up. Clever girl. <laughs> yep. Make allies, allies. Allies. <laughs> In All right. So. It's you. Good. It's important. Downtown. Okay. All right. Let's see. Well, first things first, if we use the data chips, if I remember, yeah. Ba -ba! Extra experience. Oh, I have a couple of stim stimulant doses. Isn't that what he said he needed? Hold on. Um, chill pills, okay. Antidepressants, okay. Have any antidepressants? Stimulants. Stimulants. Keep kebab. Uh, well, that's not good. Missing person. Let's see, if we got the Chinese quarter. Let's see what's in this building. <coughs> Yo, what's up, girl? Hi there. What can I get you? Oh, yes. Of course. He's my brother, Shen. Please tell me you found him. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I know. wish I knew. He vanished two weeks ago. He said nothing before he left. Only... There was one thing. He met a girl recently. Actually, she's more of a woman. Ooh. Lily. He changed. I thought nothing of it, but... But maybe she turned him into a man. 
A new style, clothes, mm. hair, always in front of mirror, acting like tough guy in front of customer. I only saw her two times. She came home with Shen for dinner, always sitting on a secret, like her life was being lived by another. Hmm. I didn't trust her, not at all. Ah, but Lily has a friend, Charlene, I think. I heard Lily talk to her. Charlene has job in Chinese okay. Quarter, downtown. I don't know what, but if you can find her, maybe she'll know where to find Shen. Thank you so much. Got you, baby. All right. Okay, so that's what that was. So I guess we're going to go to the Chinese Quarter. Oh, okay, and then we go back through that way. Okay. Oop. What's this way? Oh, Niles Clinic. Let's see what we got. There he is. What's up? Well, well, so you're Dix. Yes. Let me have a look at you. Hmm. I got a hurried message from Decker saying a girl with blue hair was coming in. I'd say there are other descriptors he might have used. Oh, he's a dirty old fuck. That's nice. Ah, yes. Augmentation. A am I right in thinking you have certain reservations? Trust me. There are no better hands in all of Harbor Prime than these. Look, 95 years of age and steady as a rock. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see. Doug told me I need a narrow weave. What sort of operation are we talking about here? Neuro weave? Well, why didn't he say? Uh, we got something of a problem, but... I'll come to that if you choose to have one first. What it is. A neural weave is a neural platform for multiple high-end augmentations. You will become adaptable, scalable, and upgradable. I, I won't lie, it means you're heading for some drastic changes. Okay. Don't worry. The neural weave itself won't affect your appearance. It'll simply affect how your body functions. On the inside. This guy is a creepy ass mofo. But if Decker wants you to install a NeuroWeave, that means more implants to come. This is a spinal attachment that equips your brain to handle stimuli overload <coughs> from okay. multiple concurrent implants. Multiple. The NeuroWeave is not a drastic change, but the implants that follow will be. I, I can only guess you'll be coming up against other augmented ones fighting fire with fire. It's the only reason Decker would want you augmented to this level. Okay. I can perform the operation for free. I owe Decker that much, but yeah, that's not the problem. The, the issue is, NeuroWeaves don't exactly come in cereal boxes. This is a military-grade hardware we're talking about. My usual clients don't need it, so I don't stock it. And here we come to the big problem. I can order a neural weave, but I daren't. Clearly, Decker hasn't heard the black market is flooded with defective implants right now. Yeah. It seems they bring sabotage so that the body rejects them. Nastily. I know one or two suppliers who are still running good lines, but I'm guessing not for long. And with a neural weave, it's way too risky to install a faulty one. The consequences would be unimaginable okay you know who's Wish doing I it did. nobody knows at first everyone thought it was bad luck a, a production line blunder but cases are getting more and more frequent and across all kinds of hardware what's happening is deliberate okay and the situation is only getting worse a friend of mine dr home owns a drugstore next to fix his hope from what he tells me, folks are barreling in with implant rejection all the time. He wants to put an end to it as much as I. Obviously, we need to go there. Anyway, the deal is, 
If you want to get your hands on a safe, legit neural weave, you should first find out who's sabotaging all the implants. I'd suggest talking to home. He's bound to know things I don't. Yeah, but, but go easy on him. He can be a bit frosty, sure, but he's no bad egg. Hello again, Dex. What can I do for you? Oh, so I see. Okay. There. Feeling? Thank you. Okay, so now... <sighs> Quest log. Holy crap. That's a lot of... Partial get augmented. Problem is, I don't remember how to get back to fixtures. <laughs> oh well. Hank. Let's go see Hank. What's up, Hank? Hey! If the sun didn't just come out out, how do you, sister? What can this old jarhead be doing for you? Smart friend. Yeah, I'm no stranger to firearms. So, you mean business, do you? Well, let me know what catches your eye. Some say it out loud, yep. Had me a thing for weapons, military gear, even before my army days. But I love my antiques too. 20th century memorabilia, all sorts of things. And speaking so, I'm always on the recon for more. So if you empty a basement and find yourself an old trinket or two, bring them in. Just about anything pre 2K, I'll offer fair price. Okay. Uh oh. How do you, prettiness? What you calling for today? Oh, here we go. Found this parcel. It's dressed sure here. Sure enough, it's my name down there. I won't ask where you got it, but if it's what I think it, hey, nothing, nothing important. Uh, just a uh, couple of magazines uh, mm -hmm. that keep on top of the latest trends, you know. And uh, uh, Big Bazooka's monthly is just a uh, <laughs> dirty old fart. Uh, All right. How do you, prettiness? What you calling for today? There we go. Let's do the parcel well, one. For that other dizzy gun sailor. My suppliers ain't good with pens. Let me take a look now. Booyah! Yes, it is. This year varmint been delayed, lost, or who knows what for two months now. Why, thank you, sister. And allow me to express my thanks <clears> by giving <throat> you a hundred credits and a box of shells on the house. What ammo you packing there? Uh... Oh jeez, I don't even have a weapon yet. Oh, uh, we'll just go for it. Nine millimeter. <laughs> sure thing. How do you, prettiness? Let's see what he's got. Okay, so how do I sell things? Uh, let's see. That's how. TP, porno mag, t shirt, keep the ammo, get rid of the condom because we're safe, we don't do that. Get rid of the stimulants, porn disc. Okay, and then we've got a magnum. Ooh, 600. Ow. What is that? Med kit. That's probably a solid bet. So, is there anything down here I can check out? No. Okay. Alright. Well, let's just keep going this way, I guess. Push button. Alright. Where's this going to take us? Up top! What's in here? Liking your taste, girl. Cruising for some fun time. A little travel and relax. How about it? Look, 
I don't know Willie so much as to be calling her a friend, all right? What is it that you want to know? Look, I haven't seen Willie in a while, all right? Who are you looking for, darling? Look, I don't know nothing about anything, all right? You're talking of trees that ain't your business and ain't mine. Now, if you want to get with me, fine. Any otherwise, leave me be. Later. We just leave. Uh oh. All right, we'll have to go back through here. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. There we go. Okay. Fixtures help. Okay, that's probably a good idea. We can go back and we can hit that drug store. Chinese quarter back that way. That's dropping down. Ooh. So it's in here. Okay, nothing. Okay. I'm gonna buy energy cola or buy condoms. See, there's. Oop. So it's in here. Jeez, nothing. Ooh. Okay. Antique watch. Let's see. Sales report. Sales report labeled Sam Nicholson General Store. One, two thousand zero one two thousand seven. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, from Finch to Biofarm Tech Level 4 Survivor. I've already requested explanations regarding the repeated deliveries to Harbor Hall. Who is our client there? The subway station has been closed for years. I'm aware that some operations and transactions are above my pay grade, but I'm having trouble justifying those in the ledger. I understand we are not receiving a payment for those supplies as they are part of our charity program. But to my knowledge, even homeless people have abandoned Harbor Hall long ago. Therefore, I ask in. Okay. And then reply, dear Mr. Finch, I take note of your frustrations and can assure you that the recent delivery mistakes will not be repeated. There is no need for you to venture into the sewers searching for the harbor ruins. I insist the place is known to be strictly unstable and should you try to go inside, an accident could happen. We do not want you to take that sort of risk. You are available. Da -da -da. For now, please keep wrecking those transactions to the best of your abilities. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what that is. What was it? Oh, I can't even move the stupid things around. Alright. Never mind. Okay, so let's keep going. There's the drugstore I think they were talking about. What's up, dude? Welcome. What can I do for you? An acquaintance of Dr. Niles. <laughs> I see. Yes. I've had a run of panicked customers lately, each showing symptoms of implant rejection. Everything from migraines to hardware burns. I'm equipped to help in most cases, but when a 20-stone roughneck breaks in crying like a child, thrusts his shotgun into your nerves and demands your entire stock of morphine, it can be a bit perturbing. I understand that, and you're a creepy son of a bitch, I dare too. I say my head would be all over the counter. If they didn't need it to learn which opioids to rob me of. Mm. I have my suspicions, yes. Just last week, I was visited by several hooded individuals 
who promised to execute me if I didn't stop treating those augmented freaks. I asked them how they even knew I had such patience. They were not inclined to answer. I'm waiting for them to realize I've ignored their request. I identified one by his tattoo. Ah, member of the true bunny gang. Crusaders of naturalism, they say. But to everyone else, just another brand of thuggery on our streets. They terrorize anyone seen to be sporting hardware. I appreciate those who take a considered approach to ethical cleansing. You have my respect and, and support. Some simple net running might be all that's needed. Intercept their communications over sea space and learn of their movements. They're not the brightest of individuals, so a moderately skilled hacker should have little problem bypassing their security. You do have hacking experience, don't you? Decker, hey? I know the man. He should teach you. Okay. <laughs> you may learn on the job, too, of course, if you're impatient like the rest of your generation. But once you do find out anything, we may decide on a course of action. Hack the True Riding Network. Hey, Dex. Tony here. I'm gonna guide you in. Dig around their domain for some info. It won't all be useful, but most times if it's secure, they don't want you to get it. So get it. Whoa. lot harder than it looks especially since I can't really Harder than it looks, folks. There we go. Uh. Oh, got some HP. Oh. data how do I do that there we go uh, hey BAP heard you got a scrimmage with some artificials and you <sighs> man I wish I could have saw that got him good Slicers. Did you hear about the slicers? Bastards are helping those damn hogs, fixing their implants, and doing our work, actually making a business out of it. What is Brother Sean saying about all this? He knows, right? True Ripper from Brother Mark. What do you expect him to say? 
we're not going to start a war. We can't just take them on. Better to keep doing what we're doing. Let them earn the trust of those freaks. Then we've got different options. Oh, infiltrate them and mess up their hardware or pretend to be them and fix those guys ourselves. Obviously not the way. Yada da 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 da. Okay. Uh no? Okay. I'm about dead. Oh, high brain damage. We don't do that. Try not to hurt ourselves any worse than we already have. Take some money. Okay, so I wonder what this is. There it is. There we go. Last night's operation. Whew, it's hot where I live. I'm sweat inside the old. Headphones. Hey, Pete, last night, attack on Sensor Tech Warehouse was a disaster. They were expecting us. They had guards everywhere. Almost like they got ticked off, tipped off or something. So all in all, we didn't manage to set fire to that storage room, and some of us didn't make it back. I knew this was a bad idea. I knew, man. I heard the stories. And now you know what they're saying now, brothers? We shall rise, revise our course of action, and shift our focus towards the true source of this problem. The people themselves asking for and buying these augmentations. Without demand, the corporations will crumble on their own, man. With us having to lift a finger, dude, against them. And so on and so on. Haha, uh -huh, yeah. More like they're afraid to take them on and get us all wiped off the map. Can't say I'm complaining, though. It's less risky to beat up a couple of isolated freaks than to infiltrate a corporate's HQ. That's not it. Well, shit. Because... I don't see anywhere else to go. Um, oh, no, I didn't go to the left, did I? And die, 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 die. Shit. Boy, that is really kicking my butt. All right, folks. Well, I'm going to see if I can figure this out. And we shall start our next episode when we come back. And we'll figure this out. I'll get this uh, figured out. And we shall probably start with that in our next episode. So, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm the Rev, your humble cyberpunk guide. And I'll see you next time if the gods don't get me first. Or my crazy-ass wife.